What's up my boys, welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. So, I think... I don't, I don't know, what are we supposed to be doing? I don't, I don't remember what we did last time. Let's just head to the restaurant like we usually do. I'm sure there's probably gonna be an event that's gonna happen. Oh, I see Mekon right there. Anybody else around though? Okay, let's talk to everyone. How are y'all doing? Hi Mekon! Huh, good morning. It's such a nice day today. Oh, wait, that's still Mekon. It's such a nice day today. I'm so glad it's sunny. Well, isn't it always sunny? I mean, if it wasn't sunny, it'd be a waste. Huh? Waste? Huh? It's nothing. I was only mumbling to myself just now. What? So, so I'll excuse myself first. Waste? What? Is something going on? What is going on with Mekon? Is Mekon gonna be like, I don't know, the, the new serial killer that's among us? God damn it, why did I say among us? Hmm. Hmm. What are you groaning about? Why, you? Ibuki isn't groaning for some gross reason like Nekomaru does. I'm worried about- I'm worried about a more sublime, a more serious matter. What is that? And that matter is... Oh yeah, I forgot, like last time Hajime went to the arcade machine and he actually played it. I wonder if he's gonna reveal that to his classmates. I highly doubt that though. The Buki's music genre from now on. Music genre? I escaped the pop sounds of the girl band genre, so I'm thinking about changing my musical stylings completely. Ah, I see. But there's nothing that comes to mind. This is very troubling. Hajime, if you think of anything, I look forward to hearing your advice. Didn't we hang out with Ibuki last time? But is that something you can really decide on a whim? Uh, okay, I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be headed. Let's just go into the restaurant like we usually do. I think everyone usually meets here, right? Uh, yep, everyone's here. Good day. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate. Ah uh, yes, the food that always appears here randomly, and sat myself at a table near the window. Yo. What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? What? You just eat too much, Akane. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> you're one to talk. All you eat is candy. Why? Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. Those gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrients. God, all this talk about food and candy is making me feel hungry. <laughs> you should just eat real fruit. That is good advice. <laughs> it seems like a bad time to bring up that game all of a sudden. Oh no, is he gonna like not reveal it right now and it's gonna become an issue later on? I mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Let me tell you. Is Mahiru missing? Oh no, I didn't even notice. Hmm? Where's Mahiru at? After Gundam said that, I looked around at the restaurant. And sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. She's always here every morning. It's strange for her not to come. Um, I wonder if she is not feeling well. Maybe. If she does if she just doesn't feel good, that's fine, but there's a small chance that she's oh no. What the? A, a small chance she's what? Um, hmm? um, I saw Mahiru. She was outside the hotel. Really? I didn't see her. Uh, oh, I see. Jeez. So is someone gonna go get her? Like, w what are we doing here? <laughs> Jeez, don't say such a spooky thing. Let's go. As punishment, how about you run around in a circle three times, say woof, and jump off a cliff? She oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to die like that. Hey. I love how everybody gets bullied by like a little girl who looks like she's like the age of 10. But what was Mahiru doing outside the hotel? She said she wanted to be alone. I even asked her to come eat with us, but she turned it down. Wasn't the last time we saw Maharu last night and she was like taking photos on the beach or something? Uh, I don't- I don't remember. Want to be alone? Um, Maybe she's planning to play that game. Oh. Shut up. What are you saying, pig barf? Pig barf? <laughs> Never heard that before. There's no way Maharu would play video games. She's not like that slowpoke gamer girl over there. Hey, don't dish cheeky. She's best girl. Huh? huh? Were you referring to me? <laughs> I am pig barf, aren't I? Oh god. 
Looks like it's going to be impossible to start talking about the game. I mean, you could just say it outright, if you really want to. And while I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Yo! That's Kazuichi. Hey Hajime, got a second? W what is it? Kazuichi leaned forward out of his seat, glanced quickly around the room. Oh god, this is about to be some bad shit. And whispered to me. Yeah. Today, 2.30pm, come to the supermarket. Okay. But don't tell anyone else about it. Huh? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. What does he mean, it's bad? Oh god, I'm spitting everywhere. <laughs> hey, what are you lowly creatures disgusting uh, amongst yourselves? Yeah, he's being kind of obvious for like wanting to hide a secret right now. <laughs> N nothing It's got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. Uh, okay, that just made him even more suspicious. Hm. Did you think I was worried about you fiends? Fwa ha ha! You make me laugh. Laugh, I say. You've elevated arrogance to an art form. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka! Okay. I am f the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. Alright, we get it. Oh, All I desire is silence and indifference. And pets? <laughs> silence and indifference. I never took him for the lonely type. He kind of felt like he was kind of the lonely type. I mean, all he has is like pets around him. For now. Anyway, Hajime, that's what's happening, so I'll see you then. You know, Just so you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Uh, okay. Huh? Conserve my energy? Are we about to be pulled into like a murder plan? I'll see you later. W what was that about? Oh god, I hope we're not gonna get framed. Instead of talking about games, I received a strange request from Kazuichi. And that day's breakfast came to an end. So what do we do? Conserve my energy, like what is that supposed to mean? Um, Kazuichi told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30pm. But what did he mean by he told me to conserve my energy? So no free time? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now. Oh. What? He said conserve my energy, I get to spend my time with other people? Alright, whatever. Uh, let's hang out with Akane. I, I don't really want to, like, go all the way to the second island or to other areas. I'm kinda lazy right now. <laughs> let's go to Akane's cottage. she gonna let us in? Hmm? Who is it? Hey, she's gonna let us in. Oh, god damn. Okay, yeah, it's really messy in here. Of course, there's like empty food cans and shit in here. As usual, we can't check anything else. Whatever. Like. This island is always sunny, huh? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Except we're not in Philadelphia right now. Or at least I assume not. Uh, I actually prefer this kind of weather. It's too damn gloomy when it rains. What should I do? Should I invite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invite her. <laughs> What, you want to be with me? Jeez, you're hopeless. I, okay. I spent time with Akane. Alright. Uh, alright, what would she like? Probably just food, right? <laughs> Let's give her sunflower seeds, maybe she'll like that. <laughs> oh, what's this? Can I have it? I could probably pawn this off for some decent cash, so I'll gladly accept it. Wait, what? Go oh, pawn it off? I thought you would just eat it. Hey, you. Hmm? What? Um... What's your name again? Really? It's Hajime. Hajime Hinata. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is like an interaction you're supposed to have like, way before, you know, chapter 2 or something like that? Oh right, that sort of sounds like your name. Sorry, sorry, I keep forgetting somehow. Pretty sure I remember her saying she's bad with names. Or that could have been someone else. I remember it easier if you keep giving food, giving me food or something. Well, I already gave you sunflower seeds, so you can have that. Are you an animal or something? Oh well, later. Wait, hold on. We just only started talking. Well, even so, I'm not interested in someone who looks like they have low fighting power. Oh god, really? Just from looking at you, you're probably around a 2. I don't deal with anything lower than trash, you know. What is she, Raditz? Your power level is only 5, scum. What kind of measurement system is that? Like, why are you focusing on fighting power? That doesn't matter in gymnastics, right? Huh? Gymnastics? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, wasn't she, wasn't she supposed to be the ultimate gymnast? I mean, you're the ultimate gymnast, right? <laughs> oh, that. 
Setting records and winning competitions is easy money. Money? You're just doing it for the money? I mean, I'm not really surprised by that. What? Yeah, that's right. I've been doing it since this is really since this really persistent old man convinced me to give it a try. I've been running and jumping all over the place ever since I was a kid. You know, it's uh what's it called again? That thing where you run non-stop through a bunch of cluttered areas. What? Is Akane talking about that? What are you talking about? It's when you keep running as you jump around obstacles and buildings. Parkour! Is that parkour? I got it. Ah, that's it. That's exactly it. That's what the old man called it too. Alright. Well, it doesn't matter what it's called. When you got people chasing you, you just naturally end up doing parkour when you're running away from them. Yeah, kind of like Mirror's Edge. Oh, I should definitely play that on the channel someday. You should try chasing me sometime. I seriously won't get caught. What kind of situations do you get into where you need to do parkour in the middle of a city? <laughs> She's pretty crazy, but I'm a little jealous of how cheerful she is. Yeah. Okay, that was a quick interaction. After continuing my mostly one-sided conversation with Akane, I left the area. Alright. I still don't get what Kazuichi meant by conserve my energy. That was no music. Looks like it's almost time to meet up, to meet up with Kazuichi. Can't read. He told me to come to the supermarket. What's he thinking of all of a sudden? And keeping it a secret from the others. I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to... Yeah, I don't want to be involved in that. No, there's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. Are you sure, Hajime? That's what you thought about Nagito, and look what happened to him after chapter one. I don't know about this, man. I don't know. It's been a while since we've been in the market. Where's he at? Huh? Oh my god, imagine if he snuck up on him and just stabbed him. <laughs> well, it's past the range time, and there's no sign of Kazuichi. Did he get set up? All of a sudden, I, the anxiety I had been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon until... Yo! Oh, there he is. Yo! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey! What the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. L late? Oh, I get it. He I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. A guy who doesn't mind showing up late even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. <laughs> Well, it sort of makes sense. So what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Hey. Well, you know, can, we, can you do me a little favor? A little favor? Uh. I just overheard something. Apparently, it's Miss Sonia's idea for a change of pace. What is that? It looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach. Oh god, don't tell me he's about to, like, be a pervert or some shit. It doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you... As expected of Miss Sonia, splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. I admire her so much, it's shocking. My heart trembles around her so much, it's about to burn out. Oh my god, he is madly in love with Miss Sonia. Why'd I call her Miss Sonia? Oh god. His simpiness is rubbing off on me. Simp! So, let's crash it together. W why me? Hey, hey. Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? You know what? Kazuichi just reminded me of a character from My Hero Academia. It's Kirishima. You know, the guy with the red hair and like the spiky teeth. He even has spiky teeth too. Oh my god. I'm, I'm starting to see it now. Oh god. And I can't unsee it. Uh, well it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach and then we run into the girls by coincidence? I still have this bad feeling that this is, this is a part of like some murder plan and it's gonna come up in the trial. Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Alright, whatever. Man. Nekomaru can't keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam is, well, Gundam. <laughs> Fuyuhiko and Nagito are out of the question. Yeah, definitely. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey, hey I took the time to prepare your swimsuit, you know. Uh, okay. <laughs> and now you're just gonna walk all over my kind act? Y you're snapping at me? If you say no, I'm gonna bug you about it until you die. There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi after all. If I have no choice, then fine. Yahoo! That's my Hajime. That's how a soul brother should act. Soul brother? So what do I have to do? Well, well based on what I've overheard. It looks like they're going to Chandler Beach on the second island. Okay. All right. That's why we gotta head over to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. 
Got it, so I need to go to the diner. Yahoo! I'm getting all excited now. Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like you can't take a hint. God damn it, Kazuichi. Is there anybody else in here? I assume not. Fine, let's head over to Chandler Beach. Do do. Oh, Gundam! God damn it! I keep entering the bridge like too early. Gundam, what are you doing out here? I already told you. All I want is silence and indifference. I see. Hey, Hajime, it's all good. So let's hurry up and go. Oh, you good, Gundam? Why is he looking at his pets? Looks so lonely. If you want to hang out, just say so. Okay, let's head to the second island. I love the music in Danganronpa 2. It's a pretty decent soundtrack. I don't know if I like the soundtrack more than Danganronpa 1 though, because a lot of the music in Danganronpa 2 is like reused from Danganronpa 1, so... I don't know if I like this game's soundtrack more than Danganronpa 1 yet, but who knows, maybe I just haven't listened to it enough. So where do you want me to go? Kazuichi? <laughs> Already the ladies aren't here yet, let's hurry up and go inside. In the diner? I wonder if Fuyuhiko's gonna be over here. Music changed. Anybody here? <laughs> Alright, we're here! Now we just have to stake out a spot and wait until the ladies arrive. Is he sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? Yeah. <laughs> um, so what do we do? <laughs> and when are they gonna come? Did you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears too? They mentioned something about coming a little after the sun start starts to tilt, so maybe around 4 p.m.? It's 3 p.m. right now, so we still have to wait one out one more hour? Oh god. <laughs> Always make your move early, that's just the basics, you know. Alright. It's ironic how he says that, but he was late to our meeting at 2.30. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you, you should be talking like an expert right now. Hey. It's fine, it's fine. Just make sure to keep you keep watch by the window. It'd be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonia on her way to the beach, you know. Oh god, what if they don't appear, and then like a murder happens, and then like, oh god. I can already see this unfolding in my mind. It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass in front of the diner. Engines Better keep your eyes peeled, this isn't a game. Well, it is. If this isn't a game, then what is it? I really should have just said no. Yeah, but he would have bothered you about it anyways, so... Sitting at a table by the window, I rested my chin in, in my hands and absent-mindedly stared out the window. Okay. That low-key kind of scared me. <laughs> Are they coming? Uh, did they arrive? It hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. <laughs> Are we there yet? Oh god, we're gonna be dealing with this. 20 minutes passed, and then 30 minutes. As time passed by, the only things that grew were the volume of my size and the weight of my regret. Did you not bring any anything with you, Hajime? I'd assume it'd be pretty boring just waiting an hour doing nothing. <laughs> Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonia will wear? Since she's a foreigner, what? A, how about a bikini? A bikini? God, I can't read. Uh, don't you feel like there's a pure, innocent, mythical fantasy hiding between the top and bottom of a, of a bikini? Yeah, that brother's starving. Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Wait, huh? And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the diner. Ooh. Huh? Isn't that... I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. Whoa, what's going on? We left the diner in a hurry and ran to where that person was standing. Uh, excuse me? Who is there? Oh, it's Fuyuhiko, obviously. What? Y you bastards! I knew it was you, Fuyuhiko. What are you doing here? That's my line! Hey, hey. What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you seem so flustered? I mean, he always acts this way, though. But who are you calling flustered? Don't make- don't go making false accusations, you bastard. Don't tell me. Oh man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Plan? It's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and followed us all the way here, right? Is that actually true? Hey, what are you doing at this place? Oh my my. That's a strange combo. <laughs> oh, all the girls are here. <laughs> Hello. Um, today is another wonderful day. Well... You are done for. You're not gonna get away now that I've caught you. What? Well, I got so nervous I ended up blurting out something weird. That's... okay, that's kind of suspicious. 
<laughs> Please don't hate me. I'll take the punishment as much as you'd like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, okay. I'm getting, like, Toko vibes from Mikan. Ah, um, you two. This is such a coincidence. Oh my god. Um, I never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. He really does suck at this. Yeah, he does. <laughs> no. Man, actually, Hajime and I were about to head to the beach together. Oh my. Could... Huh? Could that be what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It, he, it even seems like destiny. Oh my god. He is so obvious, dude. He's not even being subtle with it. Something is obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like salmon before they lay eggs. N no way. I'm always like this. Uh, how should I put it? I always pay attention to my surroundings. I, I can't keep watching this. Yeah, this is so cringe. <laughs> As I sighed and looked away from that embarrassing sight, I, re I realized that he had disappeared. Yeah, Fuyuhiko's gone. Huh? Where did Fuyuhiko go? That dude is so suspicious. Like, he's always alone, so it's like... You always question what the hell he's up to. Well... Well, regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30pm. You still have about 30 minutes until you meet the others. Really? Okay. He said Nekomaru couldn't keep a secret. Look at what he's doing right now, bro. Um, why do you know we're going to meet with the others? Why you? And you even know our damn meeting time. <laughs> well, you see. For now. Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us together. So is it okay if we join in too? <laughs> oh my god. I know for damn sure something's happening right now with like the others. Wow, he got force wall all of a sudden. So that's your ulterior motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't you? Yep. Uh, I really have no desire to do something so rude, like decline the offer at all. But Sonya was the one who planned to go to the beach, so we need to ask her. Of course. Then it's all good. It's all too devastating to think Miss Sonya would decline, so I just won't think it. Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. I like how Hajime is just watching. Hey, hey, is it alright if we go inside now? Ubuki was gonna eat a good meal first. That's why I came early. <laughs> sure thing, let's wait inside. I can't take my mind off Fuyuhiko. Oh well, I've come this far. I can't turn back now. Oh god, I feel like some shit's gonna happen, bro. An army marches on its stomach while swimmers can only splash around on their stomachs too. I'm gonna eat- I'm gonna heartily eat a hamburger with a side of rice. Damn. Is rice a side dish? Wait, is there even rice here? A burger with rice? I've never had that before. Mew, I always say something stupid when I get nervous. I'm not doing it on purpose. Uh, okay, that's kind of suspicious. Why is there a bird here? I just noticed that. Alright, let's wait inside until Miss Sonya arrives. Alright, let's head back inside. I returned to the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. Phew. Without thinking, I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. <laughs> Oh, what are you guys gonna do about your swimsuits? You aren't allowed to change at that beach house, you know? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yes, that's why we were already wearing them. Okay. <laughs> What's underneath this uniform isn't panties, it's a swimsuit. Of course. Well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit too. Huh? Really? Oh god, did Hajime not put his swimsuit on? Uh. Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? Then you gotta get, go to the bathroom so you can change. Here you go, this is yours. Oh my god, really? You got him a speedo? What is this thing? Um, it may be rude of me to say this, but... Th that looks a little too daring. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? What if something falls out? If this is airing live, you're totally gonna get censored by the network. Oh god, please don't. I don't want to get age restricted. <laughs> I would say demonetize, but, you know... Channel's not partnered, we don't make money from these videos. Don't worry, even at its worst, it won't turn into a live-action drama. That's not the problem. What is it then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? Oh my god, he's wearing the same thing. Oh god. This is so awkward. It's matching? Then I definitely don't want to wear it. Okay. Should have gotten your own, Hajime. Uh, I believe fighting is bad, so let's stop. Things are heating up something fierce. When every When's everyone gonna come? Uh, I hope they come soon. That's what she said! <laughs> and as she said that, Ibuki peeked out the window. Oh. Huh? What is it? Look outside! Outside! What's outside? Um... What's Hiyoko? Isn't that Hiyoko? 
Why is she running outside? Why are you running? Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Oh god, don't tell me something happened at the beach already. Doesn't she seem a little strange? Why is she running? If I had to describe it as a song title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Yeah, no shit. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Oh god. The spider questions. Hiyoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. Are any of us gonna stop her? She totally ran past us, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? Oh no. Uh, apparently she can't swim, so she turned us down. Hmm. But she... Didn't she just come running from the beach? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't really know all the details about that. <laughs> well, it just means women are full of surprises. Maharu's the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. Oh god. Maharu, she did? She turned it down? It's so unexpected of her not to join in an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. That's totally it! But it can't be helped. Apparently she wasn't really feeling well. Uh, okay. Um, I'm terribly sorry to continue this topic, but why was Hiyoko crying? Why are you asking us? Yeah, we don't fucking know this shit. But if she was sprinting away from the beach and crying, something must have happened on the beach. Something's definitely wrong. Hey. I have a feeling uh, the end of daily life is about to come. Hey. Whoa. When'd you get here so suddenly? What? Kazuichi suddenly sh shouted, and what he was looking at was near the diner's entrance. As I turned around. Oh. Oh, it's cheeky! My, my, how disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. Damn! Okay! <laughs> She's just... I mean, obviously everyone's wearing the swimsuit, but she just did not wear anything over that. Alright. I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. Oh yeah, you, you know Hajime's into her. Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit! Am I saying her name wrong? They all pronounce her name as Chiaki. I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Ooh, okay. Is this a serious burden? That's a total exaggeration. But even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. <laughs> Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Hey, ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Oh, fucking shut up, Mikan. Also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So I brought a board game, too. Who brings a board game to the beach? I, I don't know. I, I, I rarely even go to the beach. Actually, I don't even live on the west coast anymore, so there's no beach near me. <laughs> hmm. Should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. Not like I ever went to the beach when I was on the west coast anyway, but whatever. I see. Hey, I don't mind you staying with us though. <laughs> but how should I say this? Is this what gap mo is supposed to be? Moe? I don't know. <laughs> For someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit, it makes you feel a little excited, right, Hajime? Oh my god. Well, um, I don't know. That's what I said, but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. Hey. <laughs> Seriously, man, I never expected Chiaki to have such huge jugs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Saying that out loud. Jugs? Damn! But I didn't say that just now. It was Hajime. He's a pervert, you know? Oh my god, really? W what are you saying? You're the dude who's sipping over Sonya. Don't even try to put this on me. I mean, I only have eyes for S Miss Sonya. I've dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Okay. <laughs> The size of, is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. Okay. Hey, hey. I don't look good in it? Oh no, you definitely look good in it. Huh? Well, no, I guess you look good. Thanks. Then I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wearing a bikini is sure daring, and you get bonus points for wearing a white one. My heart's not just thumping, it's thumping all sporadically like, but um, thump, thump, but um. It's probably a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. Hey! I kept it waiting. Oh, was that Akane? We heard a voice as the diner door slowly opened, and the person who walked through, it was... Oh. What the? 
Uh. Hey. Sorry. Keep you guys waiting. Excuse me? Why? Why is your head bloody? W what did you just do? Uh. What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. That's uh. It's kind of suspicious. <laughs> why is the happy music still playing? Strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now. Carrie? Oh, you're talking about these. <laughs> On my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru. Okay, I, I hope that's what happened. That they just did like a little sparring match. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Okay. Why does she have to do that? I don't know, bro. She just acts like Goku and she just wants to fight everybody. <laughs> Like it's split in half. Uh, yeah. Are you gonna, like, patch that up? Mekon, you gonna do anything? Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? I- okay, that's- <laughs> that's not a good idea. You're totally playing up the power of human spit! Yeah. It's like when, uh- oh man, it was like when, uh, Sakura said that protein heals wounds. I mean, technically it does, but if, like, your head is split open, you can't really, you know, just drink protein- shakes and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. Alright. Mekon, are you gonna patch her up? <laughs> anyway, you need to be treated, and you also need your wounds sterilized. Akane, please come with me. Yeah, go go patch her up. With an unusually forceful demeanor, Mekon pulled Akane into the bathroom. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be okay if we leave it to her. What is all this ruckus? All right. Oh, who is it this time? Who is it? Oh, it's Peko! Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, did she already go to the beach? Uh, okay. Ajiman, Kazuichi, why are you two here? Uh... Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> a little swimming? <laughs> Whoa! Around the island for about three. God damn. Okay. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. <laughs> why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? Dude, Kazu, he—he's not even being subtle anymore. Like he's just—he's just saying outright that he was just stalking y'all. It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Ooh, okay. You know, that's actually kind of smart. Huh? Yeah, because, I mean, the Mono Beast can't get you under there. Uh, unless they're waterproof. I don't know. Or maybe Jason is in the waters. Who knows? <laughs> but I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. Yeah, I still kind of think that we're in, like, some sort of simulation. If you didn't see anything like an artificial like island. for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah. I don't know if none of us made a raft. Oh, wait, no, that's. Yeah, because littering's not allowed, right? So we can't, like, make a raft? Yeah, that may be true. Hey! Hey, Hajime! Hmm? What? Awesome! A woman with wet, slick back hair is pretty fine, too, huh? Oh my god, is he, like, scoping out girls for me? I mean, I already like Chiaki, so. Yeah. Oh that goes alright, too. And this body too, man. Oh my god, you are giving us another look at it, really? Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Oh my god. Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Okay, I don't recommend that. <laughs> don't say such asinine things. <laughs> Anyway, it looks like everyone is almost here, is almost here, and it's already past 4 p.m. If so, all that's left is. I am terribly sorry oh. for my delay. There she is. <laughs> wow, Miss Sonia's here. He's doubled down on excitement. <gasps> all right, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonia wearing? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that brother's starving. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know for damn sure the game developers just did this to troll. It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. 
I mean, she's pretty pale, so I don't blame her. God, am I too close to the mic? Sorry if my mic was like... Oh, whoops. Sorry if my mic was like peeking. I was like talking straight into the mic, I just realized. Ah, it's all good. All the other girls are wearing bikinis. I see. A wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia. That tight outfit of hers is amazing. Just what I'd expect from a 100% purebred princess. Okay. This guy, he's quick to recover. <laughs> um, anyway, why are you two here? Oh shit, she actually has a sprite in this wetsuit. Okay. I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. I'll be honest. If you're gonna go to the beach, please let us come with you. Well, I mean, you, you go with you guys. <laughs> I am concerned. Actually, Chiaki's here, so um, yeah, I wouldn't mind uh going with you guys. <laughs> well, this was originally supposed to be a girls-only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. Do you think you can make an exception? Pretty please. Yeah, that brother's starving. Man, this guy is so down bad. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's okay. Oh. Oh yeah, Chi Chiaki already had a sprite like this, yeah, I just realized. <laughs> well, it's okay, it's not like there'd be any problems, even if there were some boys. Then... You're right, they came all the way here, it would be bad if we made them leave. So why was Fuyuhiko here? It's kinda interesting. <laughs> ah, Miss Sonia is just so kind! Alright, now that's it's decided, let's get going. But Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! There's no way I can just stand around. Uh, I'll go ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Engines revving. I mean it. I promise I'll give it my all to serve you so everyone has fun. Alright. With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Uh, um... Oh, Chiaki? I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. <laughs> I should go help Kazuichi too. As I mumbled by excuse, I ran out of the diner, almost as if I were escaping. I like how it always shows Chiaki. Uh, you, you can tell Hajime has a thing for her. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll head off to the beach. <sighs> um, what, what is this? What's going on? Huh? Th that bell just now. Could it be? Oh, don't tell me it's what I think it is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's already kicking off. Okay. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Oh, no. I didn't think it would happen that quickly. A body? Th that's a lie. Impossible. Someone. Who is that? Someone come here! Is that Kazuichi? That was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It, it sounds like he's nearby. Oh god, don't do this to me, man. It's gotta be in the house, isn't it? Oh god, there's no one out by the beach. Oh fuck, come on. Kazuichi screamed. Did I really hear it coming from here? There's no other place to check. No, what am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. No, there definitely is a reason for you to be nervous. A body discovery announcement. I won't believe it. No, don't pull a terror terror right now. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Oh god. Oh god! Baseball bat? Who is it? Oh, it's Mahiru! What the fuck? What are these sounds, bro? Oh, God. If this was all a dream, when did I... When did I begin dreaming? God damn it, dude. If this is reality, why is Mahiru on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. Oh god. My Haru? Fuck's sake. 
I actually fucking liked her, dude. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Toward us and toward herself, she was always facing forward. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why, Mahiru? Why? Oh god. Why did this happen to her? Oh fuck. The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble and I instinctively placed my hand against the wall. Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? You were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. But why? Are you kidding me? Why did something like this happen? Someone tell me! I honestly don't know what's going on either. Oh. Huh? Oh god, Ibuki's here. Wait, hold on, doesn't the doesn't the body discovery announcement play when three people discover a body? Who else discovered the body with Kazuichi? Um Uh okay. Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry and get the others. Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various la layers were peeling off. My senses started to return around the time I realized that the others were already here. Oh god. What the hell is this? Neek! Why, Mayuru? The girls are standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. Something like this. For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling toward the beach house until a voice stopped them. Hold it. Uh, hold on a sec. Oh, Chiaki? Mm. Chiaki, sorry. Those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. Wait, what? What? What is she talking about? What? Beneath? See? You know, the footprints in front of that door. Oh, okay, that makes sense. There are, there are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an unimportant clue. So don't step on them. Okay. Huh? If you mean evidence... Monokuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. Yeah? Another class trial? You serious? Then, are you saying this is... Oh right. god, here we go. That's right! One of you guys killed her! Killed? That's impossible! Hey, hey. I'm definitely suspicious of Hiyoko, because she was running away from the beach. And also Fuyuhiko too, because he was just... I don't, I don't know what the hell he was doing on, like over at the diner. But obviously, you know, this is dang Ropa. There's always going to be a plot twist. It's not like an accident or something? No, it's it's never an accident, to be honest. If you guys think that's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? Oh, that is true. That also counts as a legitimate murder. Though such deaths fall into a gray area on this island, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. Ooh, okay. So... Oh god, is that gonna play a role into the class trial? I mean, they mention it right now, so that's gonna play a role in the future in this game. I'm sure of it. Well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Not when Monami takes such good care of people. Okay. Monami? Oh, speaking of which... Monami? There it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Well, fine. I'm not gonna lose here bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. Another victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. No way! Jeez, it's not my fault. I mean, you're the one who's making us kill each other, though, so... <laughs> huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? <laughs> to find out, we hold the class trial. So... So, let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. It's the oh, here we go. File. Okay, I shall pass out the Monokuma file number two. This should start to feel familiar. Do your best. 
Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. Oh god. The class trial? Investigation? This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Th then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. That's true. Why does Monami not stop them? the murders. Don't you have that kind of power? Th that I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps. Okay. Even if she tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monomi's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. Yeah, I guess that would be true. Yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they only they can only hear about three times of that of a normal person. So basically. so basically, you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. Okay. Hey, now's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Well, we should start investigating. Why is that door open behind you over there? Eek. Do we have to do it again? Looks like it. Cruel thing. We had to do it again? Why? I cannot believe it. Mahiru was killed by one of us. Damn it! Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial? Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason Mahiru was killed. Yeah, why was she killed out of everyone? Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chiaki. Well? The killer has the reasons. I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that too. Oh god, I'm really suspicious of Hiyoko. Because remember, she was the one... Oh my god, she was hanging out with Maharu a lot, right? And she wanted to hang out with Maruru a lot too. Oh, that's really suspicious. It's really all Monokuma's fault, I understand that too. But even so, Killing. we should never forgive. We'll never allow it. Killing. Why does she keep repeating that? She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. Then let's do this! Perhaps. Maihiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If everyone's doing it, I will do it too, but... But please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Okay. Also, I will go and tell the others who aren't here about this. Uh, okay. You're right, if... All you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. By the way, I always start the investigations, like, suspecting everybody, you know? <laughs> That's just me, but, uh, obviously, you know, I don't know where I'm going with this, but whatever. <laughs> I shall excuse myself for now. Then, let's begin. Who killed Mahiru Koizumi? Why was she killed? We gotta find out and solve this already. That's right, we have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. Alright. First I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. We're not going to do all the investigating today. I'm just, you know, going over this. The victim is Mahiru Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3pm. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house uh, at Chandler Beach. Okay. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. Oh, okay. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances as drugs. Around 3 p.m., that's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then, if we had just gone to the beach house instead... No, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then, I'm going to find out the truth behind Maharu's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. Alright! Oh man. This is about to get fucking crazy, I can already tell. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it off here, so uh... 
fuck, man? Why'd it have to be Maharu? I mean, I guess I should have expected it because she wasn't appearing for everything. Holy shit, this is gonna get crazy. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave it off here. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later. Oh god, I still wonder what the meaning of the whole arcade game was to this case. I guess we'll see in the future.